Well, let's look into this problem. It says, a spherical balloon is inflated. Show that the instantaneous rate of change of volume with respect to radius is equal to surface area of the sphere. Okay, so the balloon is in the shape of a sphere and we need to find the instantaneous rate of change of volume with respect to radius. Okay, so I hope you remember the formula for volume of a sphere. So the volume of a sphere is 4 by 3 pi r cube. Okay, and what is the surface area? Surface area of a sphere is 4 pi r square. Okay, so the basic problem is the rate of ch instantaneous rate of change of volume with respect to radius is same as the surface area of the sphere. Okay, so okay, so what we will assume here is that when we change the radius by a small amount, let's say h, right, then the rate of change of volume will be found, and we'll see what it comes to. Okay. So, so rate of change of volume with respect to r radius will be. Let's say the radius is changed from. Let's say that the this is a sphere, right? And uh, let's say our radius is r, and we are changing it by very very small and becomes r plus h. So we have uh, and this is just h where h is approaching 0 very close to where h is very very less than 1 but close to 0 okay. So h square will be negligible for us okay. okay in that case so r plus h is how much? So r plus h is the volume of the outer sphere and r will give us the volume of the inner spheres, right? And it will be with respect to r, so we'll divide by change in r, which is h for us, correct? So we'll say, let's say volume of r plus h, right? I should have written this volume as a function of r here so, so that things become manageable. So that's function notation and it helps to you know explain the things better so we have we basically are trying to find rate of change of volume with respect to radius so let's say radius is increased by a small amount h in that case that is the change in volume and the change in radius will be r plus h minus r correct which will eventually give us volume r plus h minus volume of r over h correct now so we will replace this term 4 by 3 pi is constant so there is no change in this term so we can take 4 by 3 pi outside correct and then r cube changes basically so r cube is the thing which will change and we will say r plus h whole cube and this term 4 by 3 pi r so minus r cube here divided by h okay I hope you understand this step I have kind of simplified it so what I wrote here is that since 4 by 3 pi r cube if you open it you will get 4 by 3 pi r plus h cube minus 4 by 3 pi r cube right and then I factor out 4 by 3 pi so that I get r plus h whole cube minus r cube right okay now we can use difference of q formulas to expand it or we can expand like a plus b whole cube either way right so let's do r plus h whole cube so we'll take h also outside so we get 4 pi over 3 h and here we have r plus h whole cube a you remember a plus b whole cube the same formula we are using so r cube plus 3 r square h plus 3 r h square right plus h cube this is the expansion of the first term minus r cube that's what you get right so when you simplify this you get 4 by 3 4 by 3 h and inside you get r cube and r cube cancel out and we say this is very negligible 
So we cancel out this also. Since since h is small, right? So h square and h cube will be very small, right? We say negligible. So so we neglect them. Correct. And we know from here, you know, r cube in r cube will cancel out, right? So you are basically left with 3 r square h, correct? So which results into h and h will cancel out, right? And 3 and 3 will cancel out. So you've got 4 pi r square. Do you see that? 4 pi r square. So, so just to show you very clearly, this h and h will cancel out. And this 3 and 3 will cancel out. So you're left with 4 pi r square, which is the surface area, right? So that's what we found here. This is rate of change of volume. I should have written clearly here. We say rate of change of volume with respect to radius r, okay? And this, as we found just now, is equal to the area of the sphere, right? So we say the rate of change of volume is same or instantaneous rate of change of volume with respect to radius is equal to the surface area of the sphere, right, at that instance. Do you see that? 4 pi r square. Do you see? That's, that's a very important conclusion and it has huge uh, uh, applications. Well, it's a very interesting one also. Go through it once again. Try to understand how we did it. This is here is very critical step and we should remember what is a plus b whole q right so let me just write here the formula for you it is a plus b whole q is a q plus 3 a square b plus 3 a b square plus b cube right so we use this formula to expand it here and then we neglected h cube and h square terms in all instantaneous rate of change problems, if h is very small, then h square and h cube will be very, very small. So they are neglected, okay? And then you are left with h, which cancels out common factor in numerator and denominator. And then you get your simplified expression, okay? And that's what it is. So hence we have proved that instantaneous rate of change of volume for a sphere with respect to radius is always equal to the surface area of the sphere. Thank you.